bringing the cows a new salt block. So we've got uh, the brown ones, mineral, blue ones, salt. You see that one's pretty well gone. We'll throw that in with the sheep. The salt that is, not the mineral. I can't do that with the mineral. Sheep can't have uh, can't have copper, and uh, most goat minerals and cow minerals have that in them. And I also picked this up as a mineral lick. So they get lots of minerals out of here. But it's also full of molasses, which uh, is high protein, which really helped 20%. That'll offset some of this feed. This hay is not the greatest quality. Uh, so that'll help the cows. Uh, also, I'm hoping it'll act as a bit of a laxative, maybe, if, in case anybody else is impacted. I don't see any other issues, but just in case. All right, now, number four was uh, huffing and puffing here. We hit. This thing's really heavy. So, um, number four was impacted, and I don't want any other issues that way. So, this will hopefully help get. Uh, get the poop flowing too if that is an issue for any other cows. That's going to the sheep. I want to go look at Dusty. Anissa was just out looking and said the calf was uh, was by the nipple anyway. We still don't know if the calf is actually drinking, and that's that's a huge concern for me. So we're still a very safe distance away. Plus we're on a hay wagon, <laughs> so we can get away. Like I said, I don't trust this cow. Maybe you can make out the calf is laying uh, right there. You can just see his ears. <laughs> Lifted his head a bit. He seems healthy, but they'll live for a while. Uh, with some spunk after they're born, a slowly decrease in energy. Oh, that's not normal zoom. There. That just really makes it look far away. I'm going to try to get closer yet. I just don't like the idea of getting squished. Hey, buddy. This spunky little calf, too. This one's like a week old now. <laughs> I love watching that. And the black one's so uh, two or three weeks old. Here he goes. I'm so happy. Yeah, your calf looks nice. So it's not gray after all. That was a great calf. It looks kind of white now. Nice looking calf. She doesn't look too upset with me. That's the mum for that calf. Big red, I hope she has a little Hereford calf, a red white face, that'd be cool. She couldn't sleep on this table. And I pushed her back, and now she's just screaming her way over. She's like, I'm not on the table, Mom. I'm not on the table. <laughs> I see you. You're working your way onto that table again. You gonna let me get closer, Dusty? Uh, have you been sucked on? How would I know? Yeah, it looks like maybe. Hey, look at this calf's mouth. I don't know if you can see that if it clears up. There's foam on it. See that? You don't get foam just by laying around. So that gives me a pretty good confidence that she drank. What a cutie. I do not know the bloodlines on these. I have no idea. I should ask the former owner. That's a beaut. And now, the other thing for me is that if you look at these teats, take a close look if I can. You see that front one looks cleaner? I don't know if it's focusing on the back one. I got a bit of a glare here. But the back's got some manure and stuff on which is normal. They lay in a pack like this. You're going to get some dirt on it. That front one looks like it's been licked clean. Now she is so engorged that I was really worried about her ability. Whoa, the focus is uh, her ability to feed. But I think that front teat looks clean. And that back one looks really dirty. So that combined with this girl's foam on her mouth. 
makes me believe that she's drank, which is good. Good job. You're not as crazy as you were this morning. This morning she was not. She's still looking at me funny. And that's the problem. She could go for a run any minute. I'm about uh, eight feet away from her right now. So if she decided to go for a run. I've got some stuff. I got this here. They don't like walking through stuff like that. They will if they're forced to. But her primary objective is to protect that calf. And uh, if I bolt away from her, she's not going to chase me forever because her, her her main thinking is protect the calf, protect the calf, protect the calf. So if I back off even, that'll help. And if I get myself between this pile of garbage, uh, or get that between the cow and me, that'll make a big difference too. That's good. She looks good. She looks healthy. The calf looks healthy. I'd like to see that calf stand, but I don't think mom's going to want me poking him in the bum. It was up a little while ago. Like when you see them running around like that brown one. And uh, you know they're good. Anyway, my battery's dying. I'm going to leave these guys alone. We'll come back out again later. So apparently she made it. So she made it onto the coffee table after all. Even though I told her no. She was on there. And now she's on here. <laughs> this is where she likes to sit. It's funny. Hey, Hazel. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Sheeps look good. They're happy. These guys eating a little bit of hay I threw over. For the most part, they're all gathered around the bale. No lambs. There's the big ram. Don't see any lambs today yet. That will be coming soon. There's a few of these guys are starting to bag up now. So hopefully uh, it'll all go well. Looking forward to getting them out of here. Like they're going to stay in the barn. But uh, the pen that I'm in right now, they're going to have that space as well. Give them a bit more room. They still got lots of room in here. While it's colder in the winter time, it's good to have them a little tighter anyway to keep them warm. But uh, now it warms up in the summer, I'd like to give them more space. So planning on giving them this space here as well. They'll have that pen as well as this pen going out. And then this is going to go farther past the tractor yet. Once we get the outside barnyard done, just waiting for the ice and the snow to melt here. Then we'll scrape the dirt and tree roots out. And then we're going to build an outside run. That and I got to pick up some, some fence posts for that. You'll see that in a future video, like I said, in about three weeks or so. And then uh, the pigs will have a larger outside run. There'll be one run here, one here, as well as an outside run. That'll be quite a bit larger, the outside one. And then the plan is to put these calves in there. Uh, plus we have three more in the hutches that'll be getting weaned soon. In the calf hutches. And the two that are running around with Judy. They'll all get weaned soon. So those five plus these four will all go in that outside run. Plus the goats out there. That'll hopefully keep them out of Mama's garden. Because she don't like that. Uh, she actually like to get rid of all the goats. Because they always get out. I said, well, we're going to try real hard to keep them in this year. And then we'll just feed them hay there this year, next year. I don't know, as time goes on, we hope to uh, have better fencing and such. And then they can all be out on pasture. But last year, they, yeah, they were out more than they were in, and that causes a hassle. So the pigs will probably stay in this pen here. And like I say, with the outside run, so they'll have lots of room in there. Uh, two more of these are going to go, so it'll only be down to three. Two female pigs plus the boar will still be here all summer long. And then the calves on the outside and the sheep in here. That'll give them a lot of space to lamb. They can uh, have this whole area. I'm going to get the milk stand. We've got to clean the barn out once this all happens. We'll clean all the manure out, rebed it. We'll get the milk stand and all that stuff pulled out of there. Yeah, looking forward to that. We have a double layer in there for storage. I was thinking about doing the same thing on this side for storage as well. That part wasn't, necess wasn't necessarily meant for animals, but it's working great for that. I uh, just have to clean it out through that door as opposed to through this front. But uh, yeah, we'll probably put a second layer in there. I'm not sure yet. I had thought about doing that all the way along here for straw. I could. 
right? We could easily put a layer in all the way along here. And then we could put uh, small square bales up there for bedding. And it wouldn't it wouldn't impact us being because we're going to clean out from this side driving in and then that wouldn't bother us on that side. So I don't know, we'll see. Got to finish these end boards here yet sometime too. Maybe get around to that this year. It's been a nice little barn for the critters this year. Anyway, that's all for that one. We uh, really appreciate the support. The channel's really been growing lately. It's kind of nice to see. Every day there's a whole bunch more subs. So thanks a lot for all the support. Uh, people quite often ask how they can support us, and there's, there's multiple ways. Uh, you know, some people like financially supporting us. We appreciate that too. But I really think the, the biggest support you can give us is sharing our videos. Uh, you know, if you like our content and, and you, uh, you think it's helpful, uh, getting it out there to other people, that would probably be the biggest help you can give to us is to share it to, I don't know, whoever you can think of on all the platforms you can think of and help us grow this channel. And that would be a huge boost to us. So if you could do that, that'd be great. Uh, if you're new to the channel, there's a lot of people that watch regularly that aren't subscribed. If you if you subscribe, there should be a button around here somewhere that I think you can click on to subscribe. Uh, else it'll be underneath the video. It should say a spot, subscribe. So we increase our subscriber count. And then also just hit that like button. The more you hit that like button, the more uh, the more uh, attention the channel gets. So there's multiple ways you can, you can uh, support us in those ways. So anyway, we'll catch you on the next video.